Who wants the tater tot poutine? I do. So AB Road Eats is our program, our hashtag program, where we only go to eat where the fans tell us to eat. In some cities, they actually tell us to stay away. <laughs> to stay away. I'm not gonna say what cities, but there have been some towns where it's like, if you don't wanna be sick, don't eat in this city. We always have um, a co at least one, or not, not two coffee places, a breakfast place. We haven't had donuts in forever, I might point out. Um, and a lunch place, and then usually an after uh, dinner place, because we don't get much dinner unless we're in a town where we're having a day off, which isn't that often. But Providence is uh, ripe with, uh, with A.B. Rody's possibilities. So every night before uh, we go out, uh, Sarah tabulates all of the, the votes, so to speak, or the, the postings that people have done under um, A.B. Rody's. And so what do we have today? So we have a lot of coffee today. Well, I need coffee. I'm going into withdrawal. I'm going to start that whole <laughs> It's not, a, it's not pretty. You don't want to see it. The Bolt Coffee Company. Perfect. Four, six minute walk from the theater. Perfect. Bolt, Bolt Coffee, which way? Make a way? slight right. We're going to make a right on Way Bossett. Yeah, and then we're going to go down that street right there by Pizza. Now that's a handsome guy. What great weather we have. It has character. It's 10.20 and I haven't had coffee yet. It's not my fault. This is unhuman. It's not my fault. Not everything's about assigning blame. Most things are, but not everything. The problem with navigating by phone to an AB Roadies place is that you're so busy looking at your phone, you can miss some fantastic jewel of culinary life. So she'll navigate while I scan. Fancy hotel. Oh no, white tablecloth's not gonna happen. We're too rough for that. It's not a matter of getting lost. It's a matter of allowing is yourself not to know where you are. What street is this? Uh, Westminster and Nameless, the street with no name. All right, I'm gonna start I walking. I don't like always knowing where I am. So it's not that we're lost. Lost means you're like lost, but just being able to wander and not know where you are, not be a slave to getting out your GPS and looking it up, I think is nice. I like to wander. I'm just gonna walk this way. and If they follow, that'll be great. She's not gonna let me though. She's on a mission, I can tell. I'm by myself. I like this town. It's got an interesting vibe. It's kind of like there's some Portland, Maine here. There's a little bit of Boston here. There's... I actually have no idea if I'm going. I hate the new Google Maps. But this is older. 1636. One of the oldest cities in the United States. Are we following you? Okay. You've had is this coffee. a local place? <laughs> is this local? How are you guys doing? Yeah, aren't we all? I won't eat off of any menu that says artisanal on it, or artisanal, however you say it. I'm over that word. Just give me some soup. Coffee King. I'll settle. You're settling? I think it's inside this hotel. I don't smell it yet. We'll go in and take it for the team. If we're not back in two hours, send in somebody. Oh, it's beautiful. If I have one coffee drink here my whole life, what should it be? How do you feel about espresso? I feel very, very strongly about espresso. Let's do that. Actually, you know what? You do have a cortado on the menu. Could I just yeah. go straight to a cortado? Yeah, totally. Since you have the proper glass. Absolutely. Cortado is kind of like my my main jam. I don't know whether to drink it or build a small church around it. <laughs> Either could work. I proclaim this cortado to be perfect. This is what happens when you get too many camera people in one place. I just took a photo for Instagram. Twitter, Facebook, whatever he likes. Can I have my coffee back, Sarah? It's almost like a thank you to his fans that have recommended us where to go. We really do pay attention. We take a lot of time and consideration to this, and here we are. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, what does he think? I'm just now waking up. Who are you people? Where did you come from? I don't remember seeing you this morning. What are you people, what are you people doing in my dining room? Whatever this tree drops looks like little piles of poo. I keep trying to step around it because I'm afraid it's poo, but it's not actually. It's like a 12 year old. How's your coffee? It's really good, you want to try it? I think it? it's really good. No, you have your coffee, I'll get another one. But that's legit. Okay. Don't walk too close to me. People on camera will think we're like a couple and then I won't get so much chick action out of this. Will they have more coffee at the next place? Actually, yes. It might not be as good as that coffee was. That was pretty good coffee. This place was highly recommended. Excellent, we can get some ink while we're here. Oh, there's a whole thing happening here, huh? Do I have time to grab another tattoo while I'm here? Ah, you never know. Okay, I'm gonna get in line. All right, um, I would love a latte, please. A latte, sure. 
I'll, I'll do a latte as well. Awesome. Can I get an extra shot in mine now? Coffee. Where'd you find these people? They're from Eater and they don't drink coffee? What the hell? Maybe they're just working. Oh, working. My name is Alton Brown, and I approve this latte. I'm only two cups in on the coffee, two of probably seven today. Um, of course, the shop's got kind of everything that a, a hipster coffee shop gets, including the hand-stamped, uh, you know, biodegradable uh, coffee cup. But I have to say that the quality has been uh, is very good. I'm not a super big latte drinker, but on a rainy day, and they seem to have really good milk here. It's a good coffee town. Yeah, it is a good coffee town. It's probably because of the weather. You know, I don't know. This is, is this the Seattle of New England? It's a college town. College town. Brown, Brown University, it's named after me, so that's a great mural. I wish I could make my tongue do that to get to the coffee. I don't know who he is, but most women would want to meet him. Why? Oh, stop, never mind. Oh, nope, nope. How can you people walk by this? This is like, this is like a, a, a museum of everything that is a... Uh... You got your lens cap on there, I only mentioned that in front of. Here we've got coffee milk, which is very much a Rhode Island thing. Coffee, syrup, and milk. Somebody bring, brought me a bottle of coffee syrup to my dressing room, but it's decaf. Who the heck would want that? And then this guy right here. Hello, gorgeous. Hot wieners, wieners aka gagas, are made from beef, pork, and in some cases veal, prepared in ribs 20 feet long, hand cut to four to five inch lengths. The moniker was added by Greek immigrants who wanted to pay tribute to the Empire State and add credibility to their wieners, gave them the name New York System. I love the fact that there's a hot dog that's called a system. That's very appealing to me. So we have to go by New York system today while we have the car. Okay, add it to the list. You're not far enough behind me. It's, ow! Oh! Oh, my arm, I'm not gonna. I didn't know you were that fragile. I'm not fragile, but having spent enough time with you on the road, I've become brittle. They're two different things. This is like as old school Providence as you get. This is my kind of place. I would rather eat here than per se. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Got it. He takes the worst photos of me eating all the time.